Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Sean Be Nice. Back again with some old heat rock. Another video, whatever you want to call it, but we back in here. But first, I got I got, I got, I got, I got loyalty, got royalty inside my DNA. Cocaine quarter piece, got war and peace inside my DNA. Uh yeah, man. I am so excited to be doing this review on this phone. I've had it for at least I want to say about two weeks, two, three weeks now. It's been out for, you know what I'm saying, a nice little minute because I got it earlier. The 15th, I think I, if I remember correctly, I got it like on the, I want to say the second or the first, something like that. Because, you know, I'm a Sprint customer, so I got it, you know, pretty pretty early. Um, but, yeah, man, uh, let's, let's go ahead and get straight into it. So, this is the full review of the Galaxy Note 8. Uh, we're going to be going over a lot of topics. And, you know, this video might be a minute, so grab your drinks. Grab your liquor, your Kool-Aid, whatever. Nobody really drink Kool-Aid no more. I'm wildin' for that. Grab your Gatorade or whatever that you may be drinking. It's gonna be a little minute for this video. Alright? So <clears throat> first, I just kinda wanna set a preface on uh this phone first, right? So this phone is not for S8 Plus users. And what I mean by that, I'm saying like if you have an S8 Plus, I'm not saying don't get this phone. What I'm merely saying is that you know, this phone wasn't really marketed towards you. This phone was marketed uh, more so or told, uh, towards, I'm going to turn airplane model so I can get them more uh, notifications. Um, this phone is more so marketed towards people who are Note 8 fans. You know what I'm saying? Like loyalists for the most part. Uh, so I also want to say that if you're going to compare this phone to something, compare it to the Note 5 and not the Note 7. Um, mainly because the Note 7 was kind of like a wash, so that's not a phone you can really compare it to. But if you compare it to the Note 5, then, you know what I'm saying, now we can go ahead and start talking, you know, start talking that, that talk <laughs> for the most part, right? So, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with the stuff I don't like, then I'm going to, you know what I'm saying, talk about the stuff I do like. So, for me, I'm going to go ahead and say it right now, the Note 8 is my favorite phone. Um, I don't think there's a phone better than it that's has come out or that will come out. I do realize the Pixel 2 is coming out in October. I think they're, really, they're uh, releasing October 4th. I do know the iPhone 8 Plus is coming out, which I will be reviewing. So stay tuned for that. Make sure you subscribe. And uh, I do realize that. But there's no phone that has an S Pen. It's not a stylus. So let's go ahead and just clear that up right here. You know what I'm saying? This right here is not a stylus. This is a pen. This does way more than a stylus does. So right now, a stylus is mainly used for this, right? So, but this this does more. So if I hit that button right there on the side, it brings me up a whole very uh, various different menus and stuff like that. So that right there alone proves that this is not a, a, a just your typical stylus, okay? But enough of that. Let's get into the stuff that I don't really care for. So for a thousand dollars, because that's pretty much how much this phone is. It's nine hundred and thirty dollars, whatever, right? For a thousand dollars, this phone to me should have dual speakers, right? So let's uh, let's play something real quick so you guys. Now, like like I said, the speakers they are, right, you know what I'm saying? It ain't nothing to sneeze about for the most part. But let's just find something. We got my man Jordan Lucas. Shout out to Jordan Lucas. That's my dude right there. He be making some heat rock. All right, so let's go to Ultrasound. All right. So that's enough of that. I mean, the speakers like, I mean, they ain't crappy, but they not the best thing in the world either. You know what I'm saying? It ain't nothing like, you know, blowing us completely away, nothing like that. So the speakers to me for a thousand dollars, you could put a speaker right here. You could have a speaker at the bottom. Just saying, it could be done. Um, another thing that I'm not really feeling is standby time. Uh, anybody who owns a Samsung product can tell you, like, this phone, when you're using a Samsung phone, the battery lasts forever, yo. You know what I'm saying? It just does. The battery is phenomenal when you're actually using a phone. But when you're not using a phone, you just leave it to sit there and, and not do nothing. It, it drains, to me, too much. Apple, to me, is, like, the number one phone that does not drain no battery. Like, if you're not using an Apple product, it does not drain any type of battery. I haven't used my iPad for about, I, mean, I haven't charged my iPad up. Seriously, I can't remember the last time I charged it. It's probably been some weeks. And it's like, I charge up every now and then, but you know what I'm saying? It ain't no, I haven't fully charged up things in a, a long time. Um, another thing that I'm not a big fan of, 
But it, you know what I'm saying? It's not a huge deal either because, you know what I'm saying? Because it's kind of like a like and a dislike. I just don't like where they put the fingerprint scanner. Now, me, I actually had no problem reaching it. Honestly, I don't. But I can say I would have just liked it right here. You know what I'm saying? I would I would have liked it um, like in, right here in the middle. Uh, mean like right here. So like right now, if I grab the phone, it's not it's nothing for me to put my finger towards it. You know what I mean? But I do sometimes get tired of using a microfiber towel to clean the, uh, the camera. So uh, that's that. And another thing that I absolutely hate on every Samsung device, it gets on my nerves. Anybody who owns a Samsung phone would tell you this, especially people of color, is the front-facing camera. The reason why I hate the front-facing camera so much is because I'm going to show you right now. I'm going to flip it up, and I'm going to go. Let me see if it's in here. Okay, I can't see it right now, but it's beauty mode. I absolutely 100% hate beauty mode. The reason why I hate beauty mode is because it puts this weird looking glow on you and I don't know why it does that. I don't want my face to look pasty. I am a nice brown skin, chocolate, black man. I want my skin to look like how it look. You know what I'm saying? I don't I don't need you to put no filters on my face, man. I just I hate that. I'm going to keep it a buck with y'all. I am not feeling that at all. You know what I'm saying? I do know the culture and age is sometimes like the lighter you are. Sometimes they see you more beautiful. And I'm cool with that. But fam, I'm in America. Just like how y'all can hit me with that garbage. Only certain regions can have certain colors. By the way, Bic used the Samsung for doing that. Um, you know, just like how y'all can make region-specific colors. Y'all can give me a region-specific camera where I don't have beauty mode activated on that. I hate that. I, I really do. Um, so those are the things... I dislike. Now we can go ahead and move into everything I do like. Now to me, the dislikes wasn't even like it wasn't like a lot, and it wasn't like huge dislikes. So we should be good. Now, first, the first like I'm feeling, uh, I'm really rocking with is the battery life. Now, like I said, I know I had it in a dislike, but like I said, the standby times are crap. But when I'm actually using this phone, yo, uh, on Wi-Fi, I range from about maybe five, five. No, no, no. Wi-Fi like six or seven hours. Without Wi-Fi, like on mobile network, on Sprint, I usually get like between, if I'm lucky, four and a half, good day, five hours of screen on time, okay? Um, so and that's one thing. Another thing, you know what I'm saying, that I'm I'm in love with, and this is what the main reason why I got the Note 8 in the first place, is this thing right here. The S Pen is the the best thing since sliced bread, okay? And I'm a, you know, I have a feature, I have a, a special feature video coming up for the Note 8 where I explain all the things that this little bad boy right here can do. So make sure y'all stay tuned for that. Um, actually, we can kind of go ahead and just kind of get into this a little bit right now, right? So the S Pen. So say if uh, I'm feeling cutesy or whatever, I'm like, you know, I want to send a message to my lady. Hit the button right here on the side. Now, this is very similar to iMessage. I understand that. But... What makes the difference why iMessage is you can change the background. So let's see if we go. Let's see. Let's see. I'll make sure I ain't got nothing in here too reckless. All right. We take this photo right here, right? So we hit done. We can change the color. We can put blue, right? And we can draw like, uh, I don't know, some clouds or something. And I don't know, some water. Now, is this really water? I don't know, but but look. I don't know if y'all can see, not, see if y'all can get it. You see what I'm saying? You can pick any picture to do that on. So if you're feeling cute with your girl or something like that, or your guy, you know what I'm saying? You can send this out or whatever, and you can draw on it. You're like, to me, that's dope. That You know what I'm saying? That's just one of the features that I'm just, you know what I'm saying, not going to explore too much in the S Pen, but, you know, enough of that. Um, another thing, too, is the software tweaks they made for this phone, specifically for the Note 8. So for one... One thing I absolutely love, because I, I I can't find this feature on the SA Plus. If you guys do, let me know. Um, but it's the it's the software tweak. Whereas in for the volume button, anytime I hit the volume button, it automatically controls the the media. So I'm trying to see if I can get it on it without being too bright, right? Because it's overexposing it. So if you guys look right now. If you look at the media thing, it says use volume keys for media. You know what I'm saying? Specifically. So anytime I hit the volume key, it auto it is automatically adjusted the media versus the ring zone. I can't find on the SA Plus. If it does do that, let me know in the comment section down below. But other than that, fam, that's a win for me because I got tired of going through that. You know what I'm saying? So let's turn the brightness back up. All right. So that's that. Another thing that I, uh, I'm loving is the dual cameras. Now, you know, it's, it's kind of like those things... Uh, 
I'd rather have it than not need it than need it and not have it. You know what I'm saying? Now that I have it, I use it, and it's, it's beneficial. There's been times I've been recording videos on my TV to send 2K some video clips of that trash that we're doing, got you missing layups. Nah, 2K, I need you to see this video in close-up personal so you can see how I'm missing these layups. Uh, sorry, y'all, you know what I'm saying? I got a little rant. 2K be, be making me mad, though, fam, with them layups. Uh, <laughs> so I love the dual camera system. So uh, the dual camera system is this. Pretty much, let's flip this up. If... Uh, Let's see what I got. I can kind of take a picture. We can take a picture of baby oil. That's the first thing I found, All right? So if I hit two times zoom, you see how much it gets in right there? You know what I mean? And also, let's see if we can get live focus to capture this. We can see if we do live focus right on camera. Probably not because it's still got to be like four feet away. All right, so live focus probably not going to... All right, laugh focus is not going to count. You know what I'm saying? It's not going to rock with us because we're too close to the subject. But laugh focus is pretty much when you uh, you have a photo. And I think I have an example. Let me see if I got an example to show you guys. Okay, I do have an example to show you guys. So here, as you can see, this is uh, my PS4 controller, right? And the background is blurred. But I can adjust the background blur just with the button. I mean, just, you see what I'm saying? You see that? I can adjust how much it gets or if I want it at all, or I could change it up. If I want the quote unquote wide angle or if I want the close up. Okay. So the dual camera option on this phone, absolutely lovely. I, I love it. I love it. I love it. I can't stress that enough. Another thing now, <clears throat> Next thing, let's get this out of the way. I like, a, I like a freak with this baby water on the table like that. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, uh, the, the the next thing I, I'm really feeling like super heavy is the fluidity of the phone. Now, you know, take this with a grain of salt, okay? Like, I do know people will be like, oh man, you know, Samsung phones, they lag after the first, you know, blah, 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 a couple of months. The first few months, they super clean. That I, to me, personally, dog, I mean, I've been using Android for the longest, so I know how to clear up Android. You know what I'm saying? If it's running too slow, you sit then you hold that power and value up button you clear cash class uh cash partition you can optimize your phone there's a lot of different various things you can do to keep the phone speedy you know what i'm saying but um i'm i'm take i'm saying that the uh fluidity of the phone is due to the six gigabytes of ram there's a video if i can i'll link it uh, i'll link it in the description below there's a video right now that's showing the galaxy note 8 versus the a8 s8 plus whereas in the S8 Plus opened up seven apps before it had to refresh. The, the Note 8 opened up 29 apps before it refreshed another app um, when you opened it back up, before the app had to refresh. 29. So as far as RAM management optimization, Samsung definitely put in more work with the Note 8. That's just, that's just a fact. You know what I'm saying? So when I seen that video, I was like, oh, that's crazy. Okay. Now, that's that. Another thing that I'm absolutely in love with is the iris scanner. So now my, my phone is locked right now, right? So I got it set up where is in if you hit the, the the virtual home button, as soon as you press this button, the iris scanner activate. Watch. See? Iris scanner already activated. You see I got my custom mask right there. So as soon as my as soon as I hit that button, my phone automatically open up to the iris scanning so it can start scanning my eyes, right? So let's see how quick you can do it. All right, boom. I'm already in. I had to line my eyes up, right? I had to actually get the red dot. Just a, just a trick for you guys. If you actually look at the red, uh, infrared beam, if you, I mean, the IR blast, the IR blast, if you actually look at the infrared, you actually open the phone up, you know what I'm saying, a lot quicker. So just a little, you know what I'm saying, just a little thing just to notice. So I'm going to take this off. This is the speech in case, by the way, guys. Um, I have a screen protecting, uh, a screen protector coming in from Well. Uh, it's a company and they make stream protectors for the Galaxy Note 8. I will review that. If I got an extra one, I'm gonna get one away to y'all because I'll rock with y'all that heavy. Um, but another thing that I'm absolutely loving about this phone is the build. Okay. The build on this phone is, is sexy, is, is sexy as hell, man. Like for real, the build on this phone is absolutely gorgeous. I went with the orchid gray because I like this, like the, like this color here, like the outline at the bottom. I just feel like it just looks a little bit more. Uh, it's dirty. I ain't, let me see if I can clean it off for y'all. It just looks a little bit more like I don't know. I'm, I wouldn't say futuristic. It just look more. It's just a, like more of a sleek design to me. Okay. Um, it it just looks good. Like anybody who tell you that this phone does not look better than an iPhone A plus or 
hell, the iPhone X, quote unquote, 10, they're lying. The Note 8 is the sexiest phone out, but the best build quality to me. The next in line, I will probably give it to the Essential phone. The Essential phone is a very sexy phone. Boxy, candy barish, but I like it a lot. I'm not even going to stunt on it, okay? So, another thing I like, now this is for all my, my people who out there doing a little dirt. Now, I'm, I this feature will be in my video as far as my Note 8 feature video, but I'm going to talk about it now. So, I'm going to put y'all up on a little game right now for those who got the Note 8 who don't know about it. This message is called, I mean, this this message. This app is called Dual Messenger, right? Now, on the S8 Plus, y'all may recognize this as, um, y'all may notice this as, like, it's in the secure folder, right? Where you get to, um, what you call it? Like, send, you can have two of the same apps in, in, on the phone, uh, but have, like, different accounts. So, see, if I had, like, another Snapchat account... I'll be able to log in on a, you know what I'm saying, on the same phone with, with a different Snapchat account and get messages from both. So pretty much, let's say if you out there doing dirt, you're like, nah, baby, you only got one Snap, you only got one Snapchat account, and you actually got two. You can have the Snapchat joint in the in a secure folder. All the messages that come in that, you know what I'm saying. The only way they can get into that is with your eyeballs. So unless your girl gonna snatch your eyeball out, I mean, you must be doing some real dirt for her to go that far, or your dude wanna snatch your eyeball out. That's the only way they're going to be able to know what you're know saying you up to. Now, I'll probably just, you know what I'm saying, put everybody on blast. So everybody know now. But, you know, hey, you shouldn't be cheating in the first place. You know what I'm saying? Just do right. Y'all should learn from Kevin Hart. Bang, bang. Shots fired. Uh, <laughs> all right. So, another thing that I'm digging a lot. I'm going to go back in here because I got to go into the gallery because I want y'all to, you know what I'm saying, see some explicit. Um, it's going to be the camera, like the, the promo. Now, this feature to me, like I said, this this feature will also be on the uh, special t uh, tricks and tips videos as well. But so say, for example, right now we're going to use Bixby for this. OK, so watch this. Bixby, auto adjust this photo. Boom. See, they are, they adjusted it, made it, uh, made it. They put more color, they put more color in it and stuff like that. And if we said that's another thing. Bixby, brighten up this photo. Brightness this photo. That's not what I said, Bixby. But anyway, y'all get the point. So you pretty much can tell Bixby to do a lot of cool things. Uh, Bixby does, you know, a lot more. I mean, trust me, I actually rock with Bixby now, okay? So for those who don't really use Bixby like that, trust me, use Bixby. In the next video y'all see, I'll probably link it either, either here, right here, like that. Over here, now it's probably gonna be right here, or it's gonna be at, the, at the end of the video, right hand corner. Uh, I'm gonna show y'all Bixby got some cool tricks, man, and I'm gonna really put y'all on. Bixby is is uh, is dope, okay? But let's get back into the, the, the photo editing mode, the pro mode, right? So let's see if I can uh, bring it up for y'all. That's a handsome devil. We're gonna use this guy right here, he's such a handsome man. Let's uh, we're gonna open this in uh, photo editor pro. You know what I'm saying? So this is for all my people who use Instagram a lot. And then we're going to go to, was it Tone? And we're going to go Spot Color. Okay, so now it turned my photo into black and white. So let's say I only, the only thing I want to stand out is my, my hat. So what I can do is, well, I, I have my face, but I can just hit Splashes of Color to bring that out. And then if I want to take something away, if I want to erase, I can do that too. See, if I want to erase the color from my face, I can do that too. So this is, like I said, this is more than just a stylus. This is this is the S Pen. So now the only thing that's sticking out in this entire photo, make sure I get all the color out. No color at all. So the only thing that's sticking out in this entire photo is the color of my hat. So you see the orange, the reds, and the, the turquoise, okay? So that's, that's Photo Editor Pro. All right, so for y'all who not up on that, trust me, use that and make your photos look 10 times better than what they already were before, okay? All right, so another thing too, uh, the water resistance on this phone I love. It's been, it's been plenty of times when I was out in the rain or something. It's raining. I'm still texting my phone like, yeah, I'm out here. What's up? I don't need no no special plastic jacket for the phone. The phone is already water resistant. IP68, so that means you would dunk it in there for about... It's five feet of water for 30 minutes. You know what I'm saying? So it's uh it has a headphone jack and an S Pen. Even with the S Pen out, you can it's still water resistant. So it got all these extra things and it still have a higher water resistant 
uh, rating than the iPhone. So yeah, uh, kill all that. And uh, another thing, uh, two more things for we end the video. So the video actually wasn't that long, y'all. I was very considerate, y'all, man, making this video. Um, you know what I'm saying? I, I just don't want this to be too long. Because you be sitting there all day, sitting there talking about this video. Look here, we already know the Note 8 is a dope phone, okay? Boom. Last two things. One, it's going to be the display, okay? This display is the best display on the market, literally. If you go to Display Mate, it's the best. It's the highest brightness at 1,200 nits. As y'all can see, well, sometimes when I pull the brightness up, now the ISO is up on the phone uh, because just for y'all who didn't know this, um, yes, the S8 Plus and the Note 8 has editing. You know what I'm saying? You, you got Pro Mode. Pro Mode can also be used in your video settings as well. So I can uh, adjust the white balance and the ISO. Uh, just thought to let you guys know. But as you can see, the brightness on this phone is crazy. And look at the colors and the viewing angles, yo. Like even from like a satellite like that, you can still see everything clearly. You can still see the stars in the background, the sunrise. I mean, it's... It's an absolutely gorgeous display, and there's no doubt about that. Okay, so, like, period. Another thing that I actually and I absolutely love about this phone because it kind of goes in hands in hand with the fluidity is the fact that it has the way you can multitask. Right. So let's say I'm doing, let's say I'm watching YouTube. Right. I'm gonna open up YouTube, but somebody sent me a Snapchat. So instead of me, you know what I'm saying, closing out Snapchat, let's see. We're going to go on one of MKBHD uh, videos, one of the people who inspired me to do YouTube. Let's turn this brightness down so we won't kill you guys. So instead of me closing out the video all the way, and I do have YouTube red, so it was still playing in the background anyway. So instead of me closing out, boom, I still got that open. I open up Snapchat, and I can reply to my homeboy, John, while well, I'm still watching the video, you know what I'm saying? So, as you can see, that was all fluid though. The video is still playing, there's no lag with I'm still moving around, no problem. Then, when I want to open it back up, I'll open it back up. That's simple, okay? I mean, look here, y'all. I don't know what much more y'all want in a phone, man. I mean, I absolutely love this phone. I think, I think Samsung did a wonderful job. Now, I'm not gonna lie. Um, for a thousand dollars, these are two things that I really wanted to see. For a thousand dollar price tag, right? I should have had a four thousand to forty five hundred milliamp hour battery. That's number one. Number two, I should have had dual speakers. I should have had a speaker up here. I should have had a speaker at the bottom. Also, Samsung sent um certain media uh, people like Erica Griffin, Flossie Carter. They sent them um a press box that included a wireless charger, 128 gigabyte SD card, and a phone itself. For $1,000, that's every presentation everybody should have. I should have had a wireless charger with this phone, an SD card, and you know what I'm saying? That can, you know what I'm saying? Um, I would respect that price tag a little bit more. You know what I'm saying? That would make the price a little bit more acceptable. But other than that, man, I still feel like Samsung did a great job. They knocked it out the part. This is definitely the phone of the year. And it's probably going to be the, the phone of the year again until the Note 9 come out. So, <laughs> look here. Y'all going to disagree. That's fine. I know it's like a lot of Samsung haters. But for the most part, I'm a Samsung fan. I also like tech. And unless, you know what I'm saying, the Pexel 2 just blow me away. Right now, I doubt it because they don't have an S-Pen. iPhone that not going to blow me away because we, we already know iOS. And for the most part, if you got an iPhone 7 Plus and you just downloaded iOS 11 a few days ago, you pretty much got the new iPhone. I'm just keeping it real with you. So I absolutely love this phone, man. Um, you know what I'm saying? Stay tuned. Um, like I said, I'm going to link the video for the tips and tricks video. Uh, when it's, By the time this video drops, that I should be dropping that iPhone 8 Plus unboxing for y'all. I will be doing a Note 8 versus the iPhone 8 Plus um, as well as far as camera. We, if you guys want, depending on how many likes this video gets, I'll tell you what, if this video gets... I'm going to do something simple. If this video gets 50 likes, I do a speed test between the iPhone 8 Plus and a Note 8. So other than that, man, it's your boy, Sean. Be nice. I made it quick and simple for y'all with this heat rod today. Uh, drop a thumbs up. If you liked the video, if you didn't like the video, drop a thumbs down. Please tell me why you didn't like the video. And don't be petty, fam. I got people sometimes who just being petty. Like, bro, I'm going to give you a thumbs down because you didn't clean your phone. Like, dog, stop. You know what I'm saying? Like, just stop. Okay? Anyway. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, give it a thumbs down. Please give a reason why. Other than that, man, subscribe. Uh, thank y'all for rocking with me, man. This channel is growing, baby. We, we doing numbers out here. You know what I'm saying? It's your boy, Sean. Be nice. I'm out. Deuces.